Okay, good. Right, here we go. So, welcome to Drove Stuff's Brew Reviews. I'm Steve. I'm Mike. I'm Jack. And Jack is our uh, new special guest tonight. He's a big Dewar's fan, and we're going to actually do a review of Dewar's Blend of Scotch, the 15 year. Uh, bought it, picked up this bottle earlier this year. Um, if I gave about, I think it's about $45, $50 for it. This is the Special Reserve Edition. Um, it's from Dewar's. It's a blended scotch. And as always, we didn't do any research because I can't, I can't give you much more information on it than that. Do you know much more about Dewar's? Uh, no, I'm just surprised that they had any left at the store because um, I tend to drink a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, I've already opened it in and I have partaken in, uh, some of this. And now we're going to do a review. So we're going to do a review two ways. Uh, first pour, we're going to do a review neat and give our thoughts about it. And then we're going to drop a, a ice cube or two into it and then give our thoughts about it that way. And then we're going to give it a grade of from one to 10. So here's what we do. Jackson's just kind of your first time. We just kind of get a nice little whiff of the aroma, kind of tell what we kind of what it smells or what uh, flavors we're picking up. So I get a little bit of, uh, and we're out the bat, I get hardly any smoke. No, um, I'm getting a lot of more kind of a, and I know it sounds really funny when I say this, a rubbing alcohol smell. Mm. It just a slight hint of it, but I don't pick up a lot of smoke. So it's more kind of a, actually, the vapors is kind of a rubbing alcohol type smell. I'm getting actually um, a fruity, the green apple. That, that's the first, uh, first thing I pick up is some green apple, green apple Jolly Rancher. I don't know that I would call it green apple Jolly Rancher, <laughs> but uh, that's kind of. Mm. Or maybe we do a green, uh, green apple jelly rancher made of doers. Maybe so. Maybe we got something there. Business. That's what I think. Nice, smooth. Slight little aftertaste when it goes down. Really good stuff. What about you? A little heat on the front end, pretty smooth on the back end. Um, picking up a lot of like, now I can pick up the apple, but it's kind of like a caramel apple, mm -hmm. um, vanilla caramels. Uh, you definitely pick up a little, there's not, there's no, there's just no, there's no, yeah, anyways, there is no smoke in this thing whatsoever. No. Um, you can definitely pick up the, in a, the woodsy, uh, kind of a, the oak, the oak age in it. You can definitely tell that it's aged. Um, yeah, do, very smooth. You pick up a little bit of the oak in there. But no, uh, this is uh, definitely nice. Definitely getting the green apple taste on it and some of the oak. You pick up any of the caramel, caramel okay. textures, vanilla textures. It is real smooth on the front end, but it does got that little bit of a burn. It does on the back end. That kind of I need a little stays, bit more, so we can stays ice it a little down. bit. So now we'll do another taste with an ice cube because ice will completely change the textures. And that mystery voice you guys are hearing on the video, that's Tammy in the background. <laughs> yeah, we have a live studio audience. So. <laughs> and uh, so now, so we try to meet, we're gonna put a couple of ice cubes in it. Um, you know, one or two, depending on how, how many I'm just gonna put one in there and let it sit for a second. Yeah, give me a couple. And we never judge anybody on how they drink it. It's whatever way you like to drink it. I mean, you hear that on a lot of different reviews. So whichever way you like to drink it, that's the that's the right way to drink. It's your money, it's your taste. Enjoy it. Quickly and in large volumes. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a good method there too. So I'll tell you, after the ice cubes in it, I still get the green apple. But it's not as much, and I get more of that uh, woodsy oak to it. And it, it does calm down that initial heat, too. Yeah, and you definitely, it yeah. calms down that, the, the rubbing alcohol burn that I was talking about earlier, it calms yeah. it down. Definitely pick up a little bit of smoke now. Not much, but definitely more than what was there before. Yeah, I, I get a hint of the smoke. Um, but to me, the ice cubes actually took away the uh, that fruity green apple flavor. Um, 
and it actually brought out more of the kind of the alcohol burn with the water. I'm not a I'm not digging the the ice cubes in it. See, I actually prefer this one with the ice in it. I, I'm getting a little bit more of the oak vanilla. It's a lot smoother. Um, I don't get the caramel in it. Um, so I'm losing some of the sweetness in it, but I'm picking up a little bit of smoke in it, uh, which I didn't get any smoke. I just got more burn without the ice. So yeah, definitely. Uh, and it's funny because you and I are pretty similar usually on our likes the, and dislikes. What's the alcohol by volume? Uh, this is a 40%. Okay. So, yeah, I thought the ice kind of neutralized everything as far as flavor in it, and I'm not, I'm not a fan. What do you think about with the ice? I like it with the ice. That's my more preferred customary way of drinking. So, to me, it's more of a comfortable feeling. Yes. Yep. Okay, so here we go. We'll do. Um, we'll rate it neat. So on neat. one one to ten, what do you what do you think about it neat? On a one to on, on neat, I would go yes. like seven. Hmm. What about you? I'm gonna go six on the neat. Um, reason is, it's just on the initial. You know, what's the first thing you do when you pour yourself a scotch? You take a sniff, right? Rubbing alcohol it kind of really was real stringent on the on the deal, so that kind of put it down. Um, and then as you start to take a drink and go through it, um, not I, I like I don't I'm not a huge smoke guy, but I like a little bit. I didn't I couldn't pick up any of the smoke tones out of it, and it was a lot of caramel, so it was a little too sweet for me on the neat. So I would give it a six. And I'm gonna go kind of since I'm in the middle now. Uh, I'm gonna go six and a half. Um, I would have went seven if this was kind of at the same price point as the regular white label. Uh, since it is a little bit more pricey, kind of expected maybe a little bit more. Um, but I did like it. I mean, I would drink it. From its, this is not bad at all. So we got a seven, a six and a half, and a six with the neat. So now with, uh, with the ice in it, what would you think? On the rocks. I'm going to give it an eight. Um, I could, it tones down the, the burn on the nose. I get a little bit of the smoke when I take a drink. Vanilla, oak, barrel, you can taste the age, smooth, goes down nice and easy, solid eight. I would go probably even higher, eight and a half for me with it, with it on the rocks. Very comfortable drink. Uh, uh, this is what I would be accustomed to drinking, and this is what I would typically like to go and, and, and have in the evening. I, I will say this. Uh, I've never really thought of doers as far as a quality scotch. I think of it as an everyday, you know, I'm gonna go big, big maybe a handle or something. So this is surprising me. It's a, it's a little bit better than what I I, I would have initially given doers as yeah, far I'm, as I'm just a fan. I'm a fan of doers. Um, I'm going to give it a five with the with the ice in it. I, I didn't like the the way it neutralized everything and kind of brought to me it brought the quality down a little bit. But it's kind of what I'm looking for. Kind of like what you said. Kind of what you're used to drinking. Right. Um, I'm usually more preferable to drinking everything neat. Um, and this one kind of a five, but I will I will start us on this. I do recommend it. I mean, it's a it's a good blended scotch. I mean, it's it's uh, nice. Um, I don't think you'd be disappointed. So recommend it. I recommend it. Um, how much was this? I think forty five dollars. Yeah, no, forty five bucks for a good solid everyday uh, something out of the ordinary. So you know you mix up your uh, you know, liquor cabinet and have some variety. This is definitely one I would I would put in there to you know change it up a little bit. And I'm pretty Good sure call. you can I'm pretty sure you can find it uh, maybe a little bit cheaper up around uh, around the Dallas area, but um, maybe not. Maybe yeah, welcome well, to East Texas right? where liquor is really expensive. But I mean, <laughs> I would I would buy it again. So that's in, recommended. I recommend it. Highly recommend. It. That would be a daily drinker for me right there. Mm. I yeah, I like it, but uh, I still think monkey shoulder is a little bit. Uh, so a little bit more of a daily, but I would take it as a daily too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Doors is actually very surprising on uh, on the taste and the quality. Very good scotch. For the money, yes, um, but still, it's not a McAllen, but it's, yeah, a, it's a good solid scotch. Also not paying the McAllen yeah, price you're price. also not paying $130 uh, for a particular deal. And that live studio audience, man, just cannot help themselves. <laughs> so with that, um, any other thoughts on? No. No. I'm a fan. His glass is almost yeah. empty. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. tells you right it's there that oh, empty. it is empty. So that tells you that <laughs> it definitely gets an A rating from Jack. So, okay. Um, so, put down in the comments if you've tried this before, uh, what you thought about it. If there's any other doers um, that you think we should do a review on, we'll check it out. 
Uh, if there's any other scotch that you'd like to, you want us to do a review on, we'll do that. Um, hit the like button. Also, uh, give us a subscribe. Hit the bell so you can get notification of that. And for Drogue's Notes Brew Reviews, I'm Steve. I'm Mike. And I'm Jack. Peace out.